Okay, good afternoon. This is our um, Cloverbud meeting. And um, first, we're going to say the 4-H pledge. Um, some of you might not know what the 4-H pledge is, but guess what? We're going to learn it. So what you'll do is you're going to stand up. Okay. And this is how we say it. All right. First, we're going to, I pledge my head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to larger service, and my health to better living for my club, my community, my country, and my world. And that's the 4-H pledge. Okay. So that is what all of our 4-Hers um, say when we start a meeting. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do our activity. Um, the supplies that I have for this activity, you uh, could pick them up here at the office. I have them already bagged up for you, um, or you can get them yourselves. So what you'll need extra from home is a pair of scissors and some glue. Okay, so I have craft, uh, craft glue and my scissors. And let me show you what we have, oh, what we have made. Okay, so this is what you're going to make. It's a race car and a caterpillar. Isn't it cute? All right, so you can like put these on your refrigerator. You can put a magnet on the back and put it on your refrigerator. Give it to your mom with a note. And you can actually roll these or you can put a magnet on it and put a, well, on it, the wheel might come off, but that won't work. Okay, so this is what the bag of supplies would look like. That's for the car. And here is the caterpillar. Okay, so you would also have the directions with your stuff. So you'd have the race car and the caterpillar. Okay. So this is what you will do. Um, let's start with the race car first. Okay. So you get all your supplies out. And I'm going to switch cameras so that you can see what we're doing. Okay. All right. Let's get it a little bit better. Okay. So here I go. I've got my, my clothespin and my buttons, my straw, and my two, uh, two pieces of um, twist ties. Okay, so what you will do is you're going to cut a little piece of straw and that's what you're going to run your twist ties through to connect your buttons. Okay, so I have got two buttons here that are similar in size, three buttons that are similar in size, and then one big one, and then one little one. So I'm gonna use these right here. And um, so what you'll do is you're going to run your twist ties through, okay? Like you're threading them, see? See what I'm doing? All right. Pulled it through, then I'm going to put that, that is the piece of straw, okay? Then I'm gonna put my other button on. You don't wanna put it super tight because you want them to be able to turn. Okay, so you're gonna thread your other button just like you did. There you go, see? All right, then you're going to twist these so that they don't come off. So, there we go. Okay. 
Okay. All right, let's see if that works. Okay. Yeah, it turns. Look at there. All right. So then I'm going to cut these little tail off right here. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do the other one, the other buttons, wheels. All right. There we go. See that? You're just going to thread it on down. Put your piece of straw that you cut. You might need to get your mom or an adult to help you cut your straws, okay? You can use hot glue guns, but um, be very, very careful and have an adult to help you so that you don't burn yourself, okay? So that's why I'm using craft glue because they are, um, craft glue takes longer to dry, but it's a whole lot safer. Okay, there we go. All right, so that, there we go. I'm gonna cut the tail off here, maybe. Might have to get your adult to help you with that because that is kind of tough to get. Okay, all right, so now, now this one fits right into the groove of the, right there. But this one, it will have to be glued in there, okay, so that it will stay. So that's why we have the glue, okay? And we'll see if I can get the glue to come out. Well, I don't know if I can get the glue to fall. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to have to go get some more glue because I cannot get the glue. Okay, that took me a minute. All right, so I'm gonna use the end of my straw to get some glue out. There we go. I'm gonna just put it in there, just like so, okay? And now I'm going to stick that in there and then it's gonna to have to dry so it probably won't be ready to play with until like tomorrow, okay? So, look there. It does roll and it does go. All right, so we made us a clothespin, a clothespin race car. How fun was that? Okay, so now our next activity is going to be our caterpillar. You see my little caterpillar that I made? All right, it'll be a fun thing to make. Okay, so that's what we're going to make next. All right. so 
Ooh, I'm gonna get all my supplies out. Okay. So we have a variety of stuff that you can, of uh, pom poms, and um, probably you've got a couple different colors of pipe cleaner. You got some googly eyes, yeah, and a clothespin. So first you need to design your, your um, caterpillar. Which ones, which pom-poms do you want to use? Do you like, I've got a bunch of big ones. I've got some big ones and then I've got some medium sized ones. And then I have some small ones. Now with this one, I just did purple and green and I designed them to go from bigger to small. Okay, large to small. And then I gave them some little orange antennas out of the pipe cleaner and I got some big googly eyes right there. So I don't think I'm gonna use these. I don't wanna use the big ones because I don't think that they would fit really well. And I want my caterpillar to, to look good, to be different, okay? So I've got a green pom-pom and I've got two oranges and then I've got yellows. So I think I'm gonna use the green one for his head and then the yellow and an orange and then a yellow and then an orange. And I will probably have to squish them together tight like that to make sure they stay and fit on here, okay? So, yeah, I could do all these. I could use these, the little ones. Yeah, I could use that blue one, and then I could do a pink and a blue and a yellow, then a blue, pink, and yellow. See, I could make another caterpillar and put some googly eyes on him. But these googly eyes, I don't think would look really good on that little bitty body. But so I can find some small googly eyes and have a baby caterpillar. But right now I'm going to work on this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my glue. I'll use this little straw to get some glue out. And I'm gonna just put it right down my clothespin like that. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put his head on first, then his, start his body. How does that look so far? How does your caterpillar look? Okay. And then there's his little tail, his little, little caterpillar butt. Okay. So now it's gonna take it a day to dry. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna put his little eyes on, his googlies, put his little googly eyes on. Okay. There we go. Stick one eye on. Stick the other eye on. How's that look so far? He looks very caterpillar-y like, isn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah, looks good, doesn't he? Okay. So I don't. I think I'm gonna go with the green pipe cleaner instead of the black one. So, because it, it matches green head. So, I don't need a very big piece. So, I'm just going to cut that piece right there, like that. There we go. See, those are his antennas. And I'm going to glue them right there. Caterpillars use their antennas to feel around and to, to keep them safe 
um, so that they maybe don't get eaten by a, a predator, a bigger bug, a bird. Um, so they also fill around to find their food. So, okay, so there's my caterpillar and he's going to have to dry overnight so that he can be ready to go on my refrigerator. What you think? Okay, Mr. Caterpillar. All right. So, those are the two activities that we have. We had the, we had the race car and the caterpillar clothespins made out of the clothespins, pom-poms and buttons. Stuff that you might have around the house. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna switch back to my camera. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning how to use uh, my equipment, but going from camera to camera. But um, our next activity will be different. And I hope that you will join me. Um, so the last thing that we're going to learn is the motto for 4-H, which is learn by doing, okay? Um, something else that you might not know is that the 4-H emblem is the clover with four white H's on it. And the four H's stand for your head, your heart, your hands, and your health. So we try to learn something that uh, with our head, we learn and think um, that we care with our heart, that we do with our hands, say so we made our caterpillars and our race cars, and that we do stuff for our health to live a better, uh, healthy life. Okay, all right, so I hope that you enjoyed making our caterpillars and race cars. And um, if you have any questions, just feel free to call me. And I'm going to post this recording on the Facebook page. So if you happen to miss us at our meeting, then you can look, watch the video and make your stuff. Um, all right, well, I will see you next month. Thanks.